Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, and I've got some exciting news for you today. Um, people have been asking me how come I haven't been putting very many LCPDFR videos out. Um, I think it's been, only, I think it's only been a week or two, if that, since my last video. But this is why I haven't put any videos out. I have actually been waiting on the new LCPDFR 1.0. Uh, currently it's on .95. But they completely rebuilt and reworked the LCPDFR mod, and that's kind of what this video is just to kind of go over and to explain why I haven't done anything. Is I'm waiting for this new mod to be built because it's going to bring a whole new experience to the LCPDFR mod. So the feature preview is you are actually able to customize your cops now, whereas before you just would change the skins. Um, if, and this is strictly in the mod. You used to have to get different mods to change your character skins and everything, but now you can mix, mix and match clothing models and textures to get the character that's right for you. All inside a reworked police station interior as well. There's an actual locker room and everything else now, which is pretty cool. Now you have radio dispatch and realism. You got a fleeing suspect. The new LCPDFR 1.0 allows you to report this to dispatch, which will trigger a pursuit. Only then, other units will join in. So let's just say this guy right here is running. You can call in a dispatch, let them know that you've got a, a pursuit, and then other units will be dispatched to your location, which is pretty cool. Right here, if a suspect flees, you can press Alt-E to call in a pursuit, which is pretty cool. Whereas before, you would just hit like Alt B or something like that, and your guy would say, "What's the number for backup?" or whatever, and then all of a sudden you would get random cops that would show up if they even would show up because LCPDFR is so glitchy. Now you have intense chases and pursuits, with search areas, visual checks, and the capability for multiple suspects and pursuits running simultaneously. Get ready for the best pursuit system ever. That's something I'm very excited about is the pursuits in general. So you're now going to be able to have multiple suspects and pursuits running simultaneously. The first LCPDFR could barely multitask as it is. And if it, and if even if you tried to do two separate things, it would just crash out. The game is very, very buggy. Or that mod, I should say. Call for a medic! I'm dying here! Hardcore mode is back with a vengeance. Take too much damage and you'll be rendered into a limping and defenseless state, which is pretty cool. Hard, hardcore mode is pretty nice. You die, and that's it. End of the game. So that's something I was looking forward to, is actually having to worry about being a police officer, making it a little bit more realistic. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, I never used the police helicopter or called it in very much because they were complete idiots. They didn't know how to fly. They were rendered useless. They were literally stupid. Now, your worst nightmare is now your best friend. And the reason by they mean by worst nightmare is because, well, it's like, like I just said, the helicopter pilots were complete morons. With a new batch of helicopter pilots who've actually gone through some training, LCPDFR 1.0 features both Annihilators and Mavericks at your disposal. So we're actually going to have competent pilots that are going to be flying legitimate helicopters to uh, help you take down those people that are fleeing. Here's another scene here. An advanced engine and AI processor. LCPDFR has been completely rewritten from scratch and built around a new engine which allows for all new possibilities. I'm not sure what all these new possibilities are, but by the looks of things it looks like you have one cop detaining a suspect. You have other cops that are now awaiting you know, to uh, to cover you while you're detaining these suspects, which is pretty cool. You have a few new options now as well. More control and better policing with new options like issuing orders, checking IDs, and detaining suspects in your car. LCPDFR 1.0 gives you more control of how you enforce the law. You used to have to install mods to check ID and all that other stuff. Now you're going to have F9 for detain suspect, F10 for investigate it, F11 to issue them orders, or F12 to release them. Sounds like they took a lot of the best mods and kind of integrated it into LCPDFR. You're also going to have go to the caller. So let's just say, for example, a pedestrian or a regular resident of Liberty City calls into the police for something wrong. You can actually go to the person who called. So let's just say they call and say, hey, I need an officer 
you know, I'm having an issue with a neighbor, you can actually go to that person and pick the call up. So LCPDFR's new engine features an API which allows you to write your own callout scripts just like car textures and models. So that's going to be pretty cool. I can imagine people getting pretty creative with their callout scripts. Advanced hook and patching. In addition to the engine improvements offered by LCPDFR, Advanced Hook now patches certain errors with GTA 4's memory itself, resulting in fewer crashes. For anybody out there who played LCPDFR knows that um, the crashes in the game is brutal. This game, that's one of the things that deter me from making so many videos, is just the amount of crashes and instability that LCPDFR has. And last but not least, Xbox 360 controller support, which is nice. I have two Xbox 360 controllers, and now I can use those to play the game instead of the mouse and keyboard. Whether or not I'll utilize that's another story. Um, I like the mouse and keyboard, but for those of you who like playing this, you can now finally use an Xbox 360 controller to play your LCPDFR series. So, at any rate, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff that's going to be coming out. That's why I've kind of postponed the series. I'm waiting for the new LCPDFR uh, 1.0 patch to come out, which is really going to make the series like a whole new game again. So that's kind of where I've gone and what I'm going to plan on doing with, you know, doing with the series from that point on is I'm waiting for this to come out, and when it does, we'll fire the series back up again. So hope you guys are excited about the new patch as I am. We'll see you guys in the next LCPDFR video. Have a great day.